Hi everyone, I'm very excited to present our work Mystify, automating deep neural network model porting for on-device deep learning inference. Nowadays, mobile wearable autonomous and IoT devices have become indispensable assistance to human beings. More and more deep learning based applications run natively on these devices, transforming personal and contextual data into actionable insights. A common requirement behind these use scenarios is compact and accurate deep neural network models. So where do the models come from? Nowadays, the typical practice is to start with an existing model from certain repositories such as TensorFlow Hub, PyTorch Hub, and so on. And then tailor it to fit the environment of the specific deployment target. Hence, tons of model architecture tailoring algorithms come up these years. However, the end-to-end -end model tailoring process is still uneasy. It first involves significant efforts to precisely implement and configure the algorithms. Further, adapting the model structure is very resource intensive, involving hundreds of GPU hours and using tens of gigs memory. Even worse in practice, the deployment environments nowadays are extremely heterogeneous. Different edge devices have increasingly diverse hardware capability ranging from hundreds of teraflops per second to less than megaflops per second. Further, on different devices with different application scenarios, the performance requirements such as latency can vary from around milliseconds to a few seconds. Meanwhile, for the other dimension, the number of different deep learning models are dramatically increasing. Here is a figure from a benchmark paper. Each circle represents a model achieving significantly different trade-offs between accuracy, model complexity, and size. And these are only a subset of models just for image recognition. Together, they form a huge space to customize numerous deep learning models for heterogeneous deployment targets. Each single tailoring point in it incurs significant manual efforts and computation overhead, as we just mentioned. And so far, we only enumerate the static heterogeneity. During runtime execution, there are additional dynamics from both the application side, such as accuracy and latency requirements, and the device side, such as queuing time and resource allocation. These further complicate the deployment scenarios and tailoring requirements. To summarize, there are two practical challenges, the unscalable model tailoring needs and uh, unaddressed runtime dynamics. These challenges essentially necessitate system support to scale to large number of model tailoring processes and handle incremental tailoring needs in response to the runtime execution dynamics. However, if we look at the existing deep learning ecosystem, here we use TensorFlow as an example, current model tailoring relies on that human and spills into both sides. Namely, either the model designers have to cover all possible deployment targets or the model users need to understand, implement, and configure the tailoring algorithms. Apparently, both are not ideal. Instead, we want an intermediate system to decouple the two sides and handle the aforementioned tailoring complexity in between. And this leads to our solution, Mystify, an automated deep neural network model porting system. Let's go into details. Here's an outline of how Mystify addresses the previously mentioned two challenges, and I'll explain them one by one. First, Mystify proposes a novel abstraction called Adaptation Executor. It decouples the logical steps of model adaptation and the algorithm details for searching better neural network structures. We achieve this by extracting the common patterns of mainstream neural network adaptation algorithms and formulate it into a finite state machine, including four states, initialization, search, measure, and adjust. 
The first state is initialization, including such as preprocess the model to embed algorithm and configure the execution parameters and so on. Search is the core state, which will invoke the deep neural network structure learning logic under such as a tensorflow session and run a fixed number of iterations. The measure state will invoke an operator to estimate the current deep neural network structure costs, such as the model size and model complexity, and decide if it is ready to finish. And finally, in the just state, it will adjust the behavior of the adaptation algorithm based on the current state and the targeted state. So now we've explained how Mystify minimizes manual efforts with a new abstraction. A further question is how do we make it scalable when facing hundreds or even more simultaneous adaptations? Suppose now we have the following seven adaptation goals from G1 to G7. Each has two constraints, number of parameters and number of operations. The naive solution is to adapt them individually. Each arrow here represents an adaptation process. In this case, we have seven goals, so in total, seven adaptation processes are needed, one for each goal. And this is really inefficient, especially when there are a large number of goals waiting to be adapted. Meanwhile, if we take a closer look at these model adaptations, each is essentially an iterative searching process. Their common initial iterations are actually redundant. For example, given the adaptation to G1 is finished, G2 does not necessarily have to start from the very beginning X. It can instead start searching from G1. And following this insight, we build an order among these goals to squeeze out such repeated efforts. Namely, if all constraints are stricter than the other one, there's a strict order between the two adaptation goals. And following this order, the child stricter goal can be adapted incrementally from its parent. And therefore, only three overall adaptation processes are needed to fulfill seven adaptation goals all at once. This significantly reduces the redundant efforts and make batch adaptations scalable. Now we covered how to handle unscalable tailoring needs. Next, let's consider how to handle runtime dynamics. For this, our solution consists of a foreground path and a background path. Since model adaptation takes time, the foreground paths could provide an immediate but maybe less tailored response to the runtime dynamics. This is achieved by two steps. First, during structure adaptation, we instead generate multi-branch models. Each branch satisfies a different adaptation goal. And then during runtime, when the execution environment changes, for example, now we need a model with 8 million parameters and 5 billion operations, the model will switch to the branch that best matches the new environment. Meanwhile, in the back background path, a new adaptation goal G8 is generated. This new adaptation goal is first inserted into the right place of the tree, and then from that point, an adaptation executor is initiated and runs starting from the immediate parent G3 to avoid repeated efforts as much as possible. Now we covered how to resolve both challenges. Putting it all together, Starting from an original pre-trained model, users first summarize the adaptation configurations. Then Mystify Server generates collective adaptation schedules based on the user specified configurations and execute them efficiently at the server side. Eventually, the adapted models are distributed to the client and load into the inference engine. During runtime, the performance monitoring module on Mystify Client will invoke branch switching and initiate retailing requests in the background when detecting changes of the execution environment that makes current model unsuitable. Next, let's move on to Mystify Performance. 
here's the general setup of the hardware models and workloads. First, I want to show the scalability of our collective adaptation algorithm, namely how well does it speed up a batch of adaptation requests. Here, the dashed line reflects the ideal speed up scenario, which is linear to the number of configurations. With the collective adaptation algorithm to extract common processing steps, we can achieve up to 70 times speed up when having over 100 goals. Moreover, we can generally see the trend from the three lines that the more complex the models are, the closer our algorithm approaches the ideal speed up ratio, implying even higher speed up potentials for future more complex models. Next, let's see how much Mystify reduces the manual efforts and computation overhead. Here we compare three settings. Manual tailoring, using a semi-automated adaptation algorithm MorphNet, and using our system Mystify. More details of the settings are in the paper. With Mystify, the users only touch a single configuration file and achieve orders of magnitude reduction of total code changes and the total tailoring time is reduced from linear to the number of settings to almost constant. To conclude, we build Mystify an automated and scalable deep neural network porting service. It decouples neural network design and deployment and yet breach them with an end-to-end -end framework, which achieve orders of magnitude reduction of computation overhead and manual efforts. This ends my talk, thank you.